Here I'm going to show you how to create skin blemishes to make the character even more realistic. So what I mean by that is we could add some more darker tones, some darker skin patches on the areas of the skin. So you could see there's some reddish patches here and then you got like some some yellowish yellowish area here some darker tones here we already have a few variants on our character because we added some moles on there and we added some darker spots on the face but i think we could take it to the next level by adding more of those patches adding more of the skin variation color so we are going to do that by using a mixture of musgrave texture and noise texture all right so let's go back Let's go select our geometry for our character and right here, check this out. Uh, let me see here, I'm gonna go to the shader editor. All right, so this is our shader for our skin. So remember we have our skin color map and our displacement map combined together via soft light and multiply right there. And it's all connected onto our base color right here. So this entire entire set of nodes connected to the base color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another set of nodes, okay, that we're gonna be using as a skin blemish that we're gonna mix together with this set of nodes here, okay. And this is getting, uh, it's, a, it's a lot already, a lot of nodes here. So I think what we could do is we could go ahead and just select all of these nodes and group them. So let's go ahead and do that. Select all of these nodes here that's connected to the base color. Control G to group it. And then you could go to the, right here in the top right, click on, go to parent node tree. So now we're back on our main principal BSDF here. So this is now our group set of nodes that is connected to the base color. Let's go ahead and just rename this. I'm gonna call it skin group. Okay. Now, this is gonna be a lot easier to manage. <laughs> Let's go ahead and create shift A and find the musgrave texture right here. And control T to create a texture coordinates. And we don't really need to use the UV for this. What we could just do is delete the mapping and use the object and plug it onto the vector. And let's go check out how the Musgrave look like. Let's go to our material preview right here. Okay, waiting for a bit as it loads. And to see the Musgrave texture, control shift click on the Musgrave node, control shift click on it. And this is what we have right now. We could go ahead and mess around with the properties here. We could crank up the scale or kind of spread it out. Maybe we could set it to a negative value. So basically the areas where you're going to have all the white areas here, those are the, the areas here. You're going to find the noise texture. We're going to apply a, a noise texture on there. I think so I want it I want some of the noise on the forehead I want it on the face too so just kind of messing around with this until I see the patches spreading onto the face and the forehead so probably like this would be good now we could mess around with the detail just crank it up and then the dimension we could just kind of bring it down Lacranity gives gives us more the if you bring the lacranity all the way down we lose some of that noisy texture so we could crank it up slightly but not too much maybe something like that and yeah, let me see if I could mess around with the scale some more yeah I want I want to show on the forehead and also on the face area all right I think maybe something like this would be good yeah we got some that's gonna show on the face and face and also on the forehead. Now let's go ahead and create a noise texture. 
and then we're gonna plug in the same texture coordinate onto the noise texture here. We could go ahead and hold shift on the keyboard, hold or right click on your mouse, click and drag, and then just go ahead and reroute this onto the vector. And then control shift click on the noise texture so we could see what we're working with here. And we could also just add a color ramp already. Plug that in right there. And then we could make it more contrasted by dragging the color ramp. And then we could go ahead and crank up the detail and crank up the roughness all the way up to one. And we could also mess around with the scale, kind of crank up the scale. We could also go ahead and crank up the color ramp some more, right? So we could see more of that. There you go. Okay, good. So we got the the noise texture that we need, and we got the mu the Musgrave. We could go ahead and duplicate the noise texture with the color ramp, Shift D, so we could create more variants here. Control Shift click on the noise texture here. Control Shift click on the noise texture right here, and then, and then we could. Go ahead and maybe actually just going control shift click the color ramp and we could kind of mess around with this to make it look a little different. Maybe also we need to make sure that this texture coordinate is plugged in also to this vector. All right. Okay. Now we could kind of add some more variants here. Maybe make it even more like maybe medium size. So it's not going to be as small as. This one's gonna be a smaller noise texture. So we could just crank this up slightly. And then this noise texture is gonna be slightly larger. And then we're gonna combine these together. And then we could just detail that out. Okay. All right, now this is what we have so far. So this is just the setup notes that we have, we just recently made. Let's go ahead and Combine the Musgrave with the noise texture here. Shift A, search, mix RGB. We are going to plug in our first noise texture onto the color one, and then our second noise texture onto the color two. And then the Musgrave, we could go ahead and plug in the that height to the fact. All right. Now we got. This set, of, this set of nodes here, we are going to combine that with our, we're going to mix that with our skin group. All right, so this is the skin color, the actual skin color. Let's go ahead and do that. Shift A, search, mix RGB, and just put it in here. All right, and then we could go ahead and plug in this mix node onto the color too. And let's see what we're working with here. Let's go ahead and control shift click our principal BSDF to see what we're working with. So yeah, make sure you click here so you can see the result. You might have to wait for a little bit. And we have to change this from mix. Right now it's not looking good. Let's go ahead and change it to overlay. And it's calculating right now, just be patient. And let's go ahead and add, add um, let's hide the peach fuzz right now. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, what we could do if we if you go to overlay, we crank it all the way up. We could see the the noises that we have added. If we set all the way to zero, we see nothing. Let's crank it all the way up for now, and let's go back to our noise texture. We could change the color ramp here so it's reflecting more of Ilnam's skin tone. So this is gonna be more of a I want it to be a reddish dark brown. Okay, and then this right here, I'm gonna I want me I want it to be more maybe yellowish. So more like a, a yellow discoloration there. Okay, maybe something like that. Let me see here. Yeah, more of a yellowish tone like this. And let me see how it, yeah, I think this is, this is exactly what I'm looking for here. But of course, right now it looks like he has uh, skin issues. So of course we don't want it to be that intense. Because right now the overlay combining with the skin group and our noise texture there is too much, okay? So we could go ahead and tone this down. So this is without our skin blemish. 
and we could just slowly crank it up until we see just a little bit a tad bit of it all right so something like that let's see how it looks like with that type of discoloration you know what let me set it to 0.4 very subtle okay let me go ahead and just do a render test let's do it turn on the peach fuzz again and do a render test here All right, so there it is with the skin blemish. It, he definitely, this makes him look older, <laughs> a lot older. As you get older, you're gonna see more of the skin discoloration. That's just part of aging, but I think it's a little too much. I'm gonna set it to 0.3. I want it to be subtle. And also for the light here, I think I wanna bring down this area at the bottom of the face a little too much. So I think I'm gonna set it to 0.17. All right, this is looking good. Look at the forehead. Look at the, the skin discoloration. You see a little bit of yellowish. You see the patches there in the skin. Let me see a full render here. See, it do a full render. Render test. Oh yeah, look at that. I love how these skin blemishes really add age to the character. It just made it look overall realistic. I think for the eyes, since I made some changes to the lighting again, I think I want to mess around with it so we have more highlights on the eye area. So I'm going to go and select this. I'm going to go just do a little test render as I change the lighting again. Never <laughs> satisfied with the lighting. Okay, so I'm going to go and maybe go to my size here and probably go back to how we were before, 30. And then I'm going to scroll down to the beam shape, set this to 100. Let's see how it looks like, how it was 180. No, I just, just got smaller. 50. No, let me set it to 90, 95. Set it to 100. All right, so that's more highlight there. And let me do a test render. Entire thing again. Right, really looking nice. I think for the tongue, I want to make it a slightly darker, like a darker pink tone. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a render test, just this part here. Yeah, just render this area, select the tongue. Do a render test. As I'm doing this, turn off show overlay, and I'm gonna go to the base color and see if I could make it darker. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so more like that color there. Yeah, something like that will work. And I think for the light. Let me see the light here. I have it at, I think I'm gonna set it to 0.2. To see how that looks like. I'm just gonna do this render instead of a full render. All right, this is great, amazing. I'm really digging this. The mouth area is a lot more realistic. And we got the skin going, the light going. In the next video, we are going to create our final render. I'll see you then.